Hello to my Scorpios. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading. Let's get into it. Let's see what this week looks like for you. This, re this video is for the 2nd of September through the 9th of September. Let's go. <sighs> let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's see what's in your cards, Scorpios. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's see what's in your cards. All right, Scorpios, let's do it. First card out of the deck is the Hierophant card, the Judgment card. Here we have the Nine of Cups. Here we have the Six of Cups, the Strength card, and the Ten of Wands. So, somebody is breaking some kind of generational cycle chain and curse when it comes to just like your spiritual beliefs and just feeling judged. You're learning how to not take everything to heart when it comes to your spiritual, your religious beliefs. Let me say religious beliefs because spirituality came before religion. We talk about religious. Because of your religious beliefs, somebody is learning how to not be so reactive. You know, um, you're not in survival mode. You're not, you're above people's judgment. Only God can judge you. Most high God, by the way, can judge you. And so somebody has definitely, um, somebody is definitely rebuilding themselves from the inside out. You're inspired to just kind of rebuild and really tap into your um, your intuition, you know, really tap into that water within yourself, the living water, which for some people is Jesus the Christ. For some people, it's another savior from within, whether you're Christian, Muslim, whether you are uh, uh, Jewish, whatever, you know, your belief systems are and or another religion you know whatever it is you're tapping into you're tapping into your savior right your savior um that source gave you as a gift you're tapping into your water i feel like um someone is like i say you're not getting so caught up on this person's belief versus your person's belief you can believe what you want to believe and stand firm in what you believe without getting into a sword fight or like two dry sticks rubbing together starting a fire it doesn't have to be combative um I, I feel like more people are starting to learn how to go with the flow inside of them like i said the living water inside of them and not get so offended, you know, by what other people believe. So, if anything, you can pray for people, but don't pray on people. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can pray for people. You feel like, oh, my God, that person is going straight to hell in a handbasket with gasoline <laughs> panties on. It's better to pray for them. It's better to pray for them because a lot of people don't know why people do things. Some things, like a, some things that I'm picking up on here... Some people can take a dark path because they feel like they don't have anybody around them to teach them certain things. So let's say if your kids are on a really dark path and you're trying to, a lot of, a lot of parents, because I'm looking at this, this person here, I'm looking at this person here handing this child some water. A lot of parents, just like a parent will run into a burning building to save their kids, some parents feel like they'll go down to spiritual hell to go get their kids <laughs> for real. They're like, listen, I don't care what, who believe what I'm going to spiritual hell to get my kids. There's no way in the world. I'm leaving my kids in a dark sunken place. No way. So there's so many reasons as to why people open up portals to go to those places, despite people judging them. And so doesn't mean that they don't believe in source. Just like, you know, somebody could tell them, no, wait for the fire department to get here in the physical realm. Like somebody could say, no, wait, they didn't, don't, you don't have the protective gear to go in and get them out of that fire. Some parents are like, I don't care if I don't have nothing on. I don't care if I come out looking like Fire Marshal Bill. I'm going to kick that freaking door in. I'm going to get my kids. Like, are you crazy? Y'all wait for the fire department to get here, right? They may go in there, you know, like with nothing on, holding their breath. You know, eyes burning, going in there to get their kids from some stuff. So when people start judging people based on what they don't know, the backstory, um, I feel like somebody's above judgment. Somebody's like, whatever. <laughs> above judgment in every area of life in terms of sexuality, sensuality, in terms of religious beliefs, spirituality. Somebody's like, listen, only God, most high God can judge me. So that's where somebody is on their journey. So kudos and congratulations to you because child, get delivered from people's opinions. They're not your God anyway. Here we have the um, judgment card. That's the problem. You got too many people running around acting like they somebody's God. 
don't have a heaven or hell to put anybody in, but they think they're somebody's God instead of praying for people, they're making it worse, praying on people. So definitely feel like, you know, definitely feel like something is not that deep for somebody anymore. You know, um, yeah, I mean, you're going to ask somebody, it, a lot of people that support businesses, they don't believe in the same political party that you believe in. They don't have the same religious beliefs. You don't know if their ancestors harmed your ancestors or not. I mean, like a lot of people, they just so surface, they just so looking at the outer shell that they don't even know what the backstory is. So I feel like somebody is breaking out of that. I feel like somebody is definitely breaking out of that, that mindset, breaking that trance that they may have been under. So here we have the 10 of pentacles. Some people are, listen, look at this right here. Some people are just as comfortable being in between feeling secure and safe in their family and all of these kids in the picture feel safe and secure. These kids over here having just as much fun as this one. So some people feel good whether they're invited to somewhere or they're not invited. They're good either way. They're like, listen, they know how to nurture themselves. So that's the frequency that you're on. Like, you're good regardless. You're saying whether people judging you or not, <laughs> they're not your God. So you're not worried about it. So you're not worried about it. So you feel good whether people like your social media posts or they don't like your social media posts. They come to your church, mosque, temple, or whatever. Hey, for you, you like, okay, I hope they get what they need. So that's the frequency that you're on. So I feel like somebody's getting ready to start taking some trips and traveling, meeting some new people, broadening your horizons. Somebody can have an online business that's going worldwide. You're not going to ask your, you're not going to ask your clients a questionnaire. What are your spiritual beliefs? What's your religious beliefs? Um, who, what political party do you, um, do, are you going to vote for? What are your beliefs on this? What are your beliefs on that? Like somebody's not doing all of that. It only comes to when it's talking about religion, you know, and just judging people, which is actually sending, you know, hurting more people than helping. So here we have, so somebody is definitely taking off that mask, that mask of just judgment, that emotional, that dark, unhealthy um, emotion of just judgment or even being judged. So, yeah. So just somebody's just waking up from a nightmare. Somebody's waking up from a nightmare. Stop looking at just the outer appearance. You don't know what people went through. So here we have the page of wands here. Yeah. People, people don't want to be connected to people who are sitting around roasting other people. You know, they don't want to be connected to that. Oh, look at them. They gained some weight or they lost too much weight or look at this. Like people are just so judgmental. So it's said, but they don't have a heaven or hell to put somebody in. So that's the frequency that you're on, Scorpio. So yeah, you got an ancestor that's saying, here's some more water. Here's your gifts being increased. I'm making sure you're going to get to the high priestess side so it's not lopsided. You're just looking at the physical, the religion. I need you to see the spirit as well. I need you to stop looking at just the, stop judging a book by its cover. I need you to look at the spiritual side, the spirit, right? So whatever anxiety you may have been having about something is going to be going away. Whatever ideas you may have had about something are going to be going away. But somebody may feel like they've been walking a spiritual tightrope, st stomach all and not stressed out over something, but not anymore. Here we have the uh, moon card. Yeah, you're leaving those wolves and sheep clothing behind. That's right. You're leaving those predators behind, people who prey on people's sexuality, sensuality, their religious beliefs, their spirituality. You're leaving all of that predatory, mask-wearing, fake, phony energies behind. It's just draining. It's draining and counterproductive. Nobody's getting any help. Here we have the three of swords here. So somebody has finally moved on from some kind of past disappointment and moving on with your life. Good for you. Good, good, good. Yep, somebody is moving on from that. Like, you can pray for people because you don't know why people, I'm telling you, until you've seen somebody run back to a car that's just, you know, about to go up in flames on a highway and they going in there trying to save their kids or busting out windows because they're trying to save their kids. The car went down in some water. You don't know whether they can swim or not. You don't know if they drown all of a sudden. Here they go. They gone. Somebody don't know why people are on their spiritual journey, on their spiritual path. Because some people are so busy, they're so heavenly minded, they of no earthly good. They're so busy only speaking the positive scriptures in the Bible that they're not telling people the stories and how you can help somebody when their kids are in danger. So here we have the Empress card. So yeah, somebody definitely cutting ties with that limited 
that scarcity mindset. I got to hold on to one belief system and I, I can't budge beyond that. That's the devil. That's chained to fear, doubt, chained to lust, chained to some kind of restriction. But let the devil get a hold of your kids. Let the devil get a hold of somebody that you love, that they you never saw that stuff coming. Let that and start. Then you won't be judging somebody, whoever it is. Y'all know what I'm saying? Like, let somebody, let somebody, your kids come across. I'm looking at this little girl right here. But let on this, this little boy, little kids right here. This I'm looking at in the cars. Let your kids, if you have kids or nieces and nephews or even students because you're an educator, let the devil get a hold of them. While everybody else standing around judging, okay, well, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be practicing that. You shouldn't be watching this. You shouldn't be watching that. Why you think some people, some people's families be praying so hard? They know that they be, they stay in the book of Psalms, trying to break spells, trying to help somebody, bro, staying on their face, laying prostrate somewhere. God, please help them, cause I'm, God, you better stop me, cause I'm about, I'm, I'm about to, you better help me, source, cause I got, I'm about to go, I'm about to go in, right? So that's where somebody is on their journey, like them judge book five covers. Is a chariot card, yep. So the source is actually rewarding somebody for moving on from that mindset of just being stuck with them mask-wearing, phony people. Here we have the page of swords here. Yeah. So whatever anxiety you may have had about two situations, they're going to be going away very soon. Queen of Cups. Because your you're, um, you're, um, compassion is increasing. Your compassion is increasing. If you know how many family members sit around and judge their own family because they watch tarot. But because, you know, somebody go to, somebody decided they want to go to a different church or visit a different church or mosque or temple the following week, or they want to wear gemstones and crystals or start talking about spirituality and stuff, and the family members are judging them, just limited knowledge. They ain't even trying to stick their head in the book and learn something until some kind of crisis happens. You know, um, there's a movie called Deliverance that, um, what's his name? Um, Lee Daniels. Um, excellent movie, excellent, excellent. I wish more people would watch that. I, I, I wish more people would watch that movie because it's so many people who not they don't know. You hear about the exorcism, like in terms of the Catholic Church and stuff like that. Everybody has heard about those movies. When spirits are real, let the devil get a hold of somebody. Let somebody's family member be suffering some kind of um demon that's attached itself to somebody and you need somebody to be, to be delivered from something and everybody's scrambling around because they had lack of knowledge they scrambling around gossiping making a situation worse because they don't understand hey you got a whole book there that you only read so you cherry pick certain things and, and they add insult to injury judging people some family members make stuff worse Oh, we don't believe in that kind of stuff. You don't have to believe in it, but you have to know how to protect yourself. You know, you need to know exactly what prayers to pray. You know how to be very clear to go straight into that in that um, warfare, that spiritual warfare. So yeah, I feel like um, yeah, somebody something has pushed somebody to the light side of emperor energy, being more structured and authoritative. But you're leaving some energies behind. You're getting away from those people who are impulsive. They jump to conclusions about people because it's contaminating your water. Yep, six of cups. So I see you moving forward in childlike faith. So there could be Aries involved in something. Yeah, so many people are so worried about image. Worried about what other people think. Oh my God, I can't ruin my image. Wearing a mask, masking their sexuality, sensuality, masking their intuition, masking, covering up something. Just wearing mask, right? Until it comes out in your kids, your nieces and nephews, to your students or your mentees or whatever. And then all of a sudden, people, I'm telling you, people will run it. They will lift the whole car up to save somebody. They'll run into a burning building. And in the spiritual sense, they'll go straight to hell for somebody. They like, nah, -uh. <laughs> no, no. The child got a, a, a dependency or something. Hey, they will go through the worst neighborhoods to go snatch them up out of somewhere. And they ain't, they ain't thinking about getting hit by bullets or something happening to them. So here we have the world card. So somebody is closing out a cycle in love. 
and learning how to create some new traditions and some new boundaries and stuff. Yeah, you going to have a time. And who's sitting around waiting, worried about somebody judging somebody? So yeah, so here we have the four of cups. So this is definitely putting you around a whole new group of people that's going to help to increase your knowledge and your wisdom. Uh, with something you and somebody are cutting ties with just a particular belief system of just being around highly judgmental people you know and it could be a new love interest for somebody because you definitely have a lot of um, opportunities to meet people coming your way but somebody's just tired of being heartbroken and waking up from nightmares and people having a bunch of ideas about you and ideas about other people people are living their truth and you don't have to explain to somebody why you you know, went a certain path and who you're helping, that's none of their business. Here we have the Seven of Cups. If they really cared, they would stop coming under the guise of prayer and just pray for you. So, yeah. So I feel like um, looking at your cards here, you and somebody are going to be building a very rich legacy. y'all. But the main thing is y'all don't want to be around people who are masking who not living their truth. That's the main thing. Somebody's like, I don't want to be around people who not living their truth. That's enough secrets all unto itself. So, because it just creates too many nightmares for too many people. So, I, I feel like a lot of shame and embarrassment is going to go out the window. A lot of shame and embarrassment is going out the window. People are like, listen, if you got family members that's going through some stuff, or maybe you're either your kids, your parents, your sisters and brothers, who had time to be embarrassed? That's a choice. So open your vault door, prepare for an increase in pay. Somebody's amongst the incubi and succubi. Yep, first red flag, pray and meditate. Document your dreams day and night. Be patient, the answers are coming. Speak things into existence. You are who they pray for. Time to journal your journey. Um, and somebody just has a spirit of lying. I mean, they're around sex demons. They're caught up in some kind of something going on. And so, um, you know... And um, sources saying to you, but they probably have they have probably have other demons attached to them too, right? So for people who assume that it's one thing, like you could have assumed, oh, that must be somebody else. They have cameras all around people and never see anybody come in and out of their house. That they just kind of hermits. Because I'm looking at um, you know, looking at certain, but other people will demonize them. Oh, they they doing this and they doing that. They they sleeping around. They this and that and so on. But they, but they're trying to project who they are onto other people, trying to throw people off their scent, trying to throw people off of stuff. So you know how people will accuse you of, you know, like y'all know, understand what I'm saying though. Like a cheater will accuse you of cheating and you never cheated, but they say, oh yeah, I know you must be cheating on me because they're looking for a reason to go out to cheat. <laughs> That projection, right? So people projecting stuff onto other people that's not even true because it's really them. So pour more into yourself. Or they'll say, oh, you don't really like so-and-so trying to put you under some kind of dark spell when it's really them. They don't like somebody. So they're trying to put that dark spell on you. That's what I'm saying. Like Every book is a book of spells. Every book. But people not ready for that conversation. Some people not. But yeah, somebody's around incubi. They're amongst incubi and succubi. Those are sex demons. So this they can't get enough. So they try sexual. They trying everything. Whoever, whatever. So source is saying to you, but that's not something that they will be honest with you about. Even if you watching this channel is are bisexual, you be more open to say, yeah, you you've had this and you've had that, or whatever. With them, they're not gonna tell you the truth. Because for them, when they look in the mirror, they see darkness. They see ugliness when they look in the mirror. They see something as dirty and filthy because they don't know anything about sacred sacred sex, right? So they, when they look in the mirror, they see something dirty and ugly. And so that's what I'm saying. Like before people judge people, they like, listen, you better start praying for people so you can gain some clarity. You want some clear water? You need to go within. So it's time to do a root chakra cleanse. So things can start flowing to you a lot easier. But somebody has a cambian spirit. That's an offspring between union between an incubus, succubus, and a human parent. People be thinking it's one side of the family is something else. They speak to be thinking it's one person, but it's somebody else because based on an emotional connection. I know this person wouldn't lie to me. They send their line to you projecting something else onto somebody else. So somebody is learning. Somebody is learning.
how people do spell work, dark spell work. Um, let's see what else we got going on. That's just a classic old line. That could be like, you know, your ex not wanting somebody to date you, so they telling everybody that you for the streets. <laughs> you, <laughs> you may have been celibate for 15 years. You're <laughs> like, oh, no, they for the streets. They, you know, they didn't have this one. <laughs> because they don't want anybody else to have you, right? So somebody is learning. Somebody is learning. It really is not that deep. All you have to do is just be consistent. Like, you are you. You're somebody is in hermit mode. Somebody is... um. You know, somebody is, um, and, um, you know, just a very nurturing kind of spirit. Um, and, um, and so you, you choose who you nurture, like you, you, you nurture your kids, how you nurture your kids, how you nurture your parents, how you nurture your friendships. Somebody is a nurturer, but yeah, when people are trying to throw people off, especially since that somebody has an emotional connection with to somebody. Let me see what other cards we have here. What was the other? Um, yeah, here we go. Yeah. I'm telling you, some of y'all exes, they out here lying through their teeth talking about you for the streets. <laughs> I saw that on social media the other day. I thought that was so funny. For the streets? Hold on. Let me ask somebody what that mean. What does for the streets mean? Uh, yeah, so... Um, Mm, mm, mm. Just a mess. The devil is a mess. <laughs> the devil is a whole mess. It's a spirit that likes to create chaos and confusion. Let's have everybody running around like chicken with their heads cut off, you know, pointing fingers and all of this other stuff. Just a mess. So, yeah. So, I definitely feel like you're going to be ending some relationships, you know, with some energies and just kind of sort of leaving them behind. Because they try to limit people's abundance in some way, shape, form, or fashion. I, I definitely said the mask wearing, smiling in people's face, talking about people behind their back. Like, who has time for that mess? The phony, <laughs> the phony balonies. <laughs> they, they not even on the same frequency as you, but we're all connected. We're all here on planet Earth, right? Everything on Earth is connected. So you can pray for them. You can know that they have God in them. And so they must be like the devil, like I said, author of confusion, fear, doubt, uncertainty. It's just so many different types of demons to name. Okay, we have the temperance card. But yeah, you have a guardian angel that's watching over you, protecting you. Yeah, that's helping you to open up your third eye. Your guardian angel is helping you to open up your third eye. Um, that person could be a Sagittarius, but they're helping you, helping you to open up your third eye, you know, to really see things for what it really is. You have to see it for what it is. Because these energies like to get familiar with people. You know, you feel like, oh, I feel like a teenager around them. I feel so energetic. I feel so, why are they talking about you behind your back? So here we have the five of swords. Yeah. Yep, so two energies trying to come back around. They're trying to come back around this thing. Like I said, mosquitoes trying to run, come back around. Try to come back into the picture. Just blood suckers. Like I said, it's mosquitoes. Whoever these energies are, they're going to try to come back into your life, just so you know. But this time, you're going to look back at them and just go, nah, I'm good. I'm really good because you're not living your truth. You're not living your truth. You know, you try to, you projected something on something wasn't even true. Here we have the Queen of Swords. Yeah. Yeah. So I see you sitting on your throne just carefully vetting your thoughts. You know, got your flowers and your ancestors picture up there. You got the altar sitting up on the piano tape. Somebody got a piano. You know, like I said, just talking to your ancestors. Your ancestors said, baby, if you had just come to me first, I would have been told you. But anyway, we have Madre Tierra. So, yeah, so somebody, something has just come in full circle for somebody. It's a world card twice. So somebody just closing out cycles and all of this, you know, comparing people and people can be replaced, all this kind of mess. Somebody getting away from all of that and just seeing what sets you apart from everybody on planet Earth. Because that's how some people feel. Like They feel like they've been told they can be replaced so much, so often in their lives. All they do is run around judging people. You don't even want to be a part of that circus. So, yeah. All right. Let's say, but yeah. I'm going to tell you, people are a trip. People are a trip. Y'all know what I'm talking about. These people will accuse you of cheating on them. 
when they the main one trying to get out the house and cheat. Who am I talking to? Don't put your comments below. The Aries could be involved in something, right? So here we have, yeah, so it's time to take action. You know, it's time to take some kind of action, you know, just being more, uh, uh, more um, structured and authoritative. That would be the light side of Aries, you know, to just like spring forward, just like leave that kind of energy behind, whoever it is. So love is an endless well. It always has been. It always will be. I go free to be kind, loving, and courageous. I'm so thankful that the relationships in my life greatly exceed my wildest imaginations. Yeah. Greatly exceed my wildest imaginations. Yeah. The two situations are closed out. You moving on. You have a guardian angel helping you. Work. I am so grateful for insightful, genuine, and productive conversations. I give thanks to all this that all discord is now exiting my life with harmony and ease. Some people don't even realize some of the emotional connections that they've had with people. People have been jealous of you the whole time, want your whole life, and you don't even know it. Emotional connections. Integrity. I choose my words wisely. My words are creating my reality. My speech matches my actions. I keep promises to myself. I am consistent. I am punctual. I accept the moment. I resonate with the highest truth. Number three, I am charismatic. Expression comes naturally to you. You are very skilled at communicating your thoughts through conversation and creative pursuits. You are able to get others on board with your ideas. That is what I have for you. Thank you for joining me. I will see you all in the next reading. Here are the questions for the morning, Virgo, for those of you all who like the questions. First question is, are you ready to define what you no longer need or want with a practical and objective eye? The second question is, can you define what's yours to fix and what's not in your life? The third question is, do you feel any fear around being fully self-sufficient and independent? The fourth question is, how could you learn more from nature? And then last but not least is, could you share your free time and energy in a charitable and valuable way? That is what I have for you. I will see you all in the next reading. Have, make it an amazing week. Make it an amazing week for yourselves. But yeah, somebody's ancestor is giving you some more water. Um, whoever it is, is somebody that either used to visit their house a lot Um um, maybe it was a grandparent or somebody used to be at their house a lot and they just give you words of wisdom they're like pouring into you you know someone who transitioned you have a lot of ancestors around you helping you to learn how to take your water somewhere else your sexuality sensuality your intuition like help you to take it in a different direction away from energies that are poisonous and it can grow into something venomous like something they say or do could be just venomous you know, um, for you, but your third eye is definitely wide open. I'll see you all in the next reading. Bye.